Whoops. Hey everybody, thank you so much for clicking on this video and if the quality seems a little bit weird on this one it's because I am trying a different camera. I usually use my cell phone, I'm trying the webcam today, my Razer Kyo. I don't know, how to, no, I don't know, I don't know what that is called. So let's get the cat out of the bag. Somebody injured their wrist slash hand slash thumb, that whole area. What I did is I damaged the ligament that runs from um, kind of like here up into the thummy area. And uh, real quick, I just want to point out, ooh, the, this camera's going all wonky. First of all, I want to say this injury did not occur in CrossFit. It was not because of CrossFit. So ignore that I've been doing CrossFit when you're watching this video because it has nothing to do with CrossFit. What happened was the stupidest of things because I'm a, a frail old man whose body is giving up on him and doesn't care anymore about its own feelings. This is actually an injury that occurred several weeks ago and has just progressively gotten worse and it all started from swinging a golf club of all things. Wrists are not supposed to move when you swing a golf club. Did you know that? Somehow I managed to swing the golf club with my thumbs overlapped over the club itself on the handle, but then stupidly bent my wrist and I heard a series of snaps in my hand and it was really sore. Well, fast forward a few weeks and that pain kind of came and went and then started progressively getting worse to the point where almost everything hurts. So for the next several weeks, I will be wearing this thing um, it's great, keeps my, my, my wrist really, uh, stiff, and my thumb really stiff, and whatever. That's, that's happening, I guess. As you can imagine, not the greatest thing for CrossFit, so I bought something online to try to help me out a little bit, and see if this will take some of the load off my wrist, but not kind of block me from being able to grip things, because honestly, right now, can't really grab much, you know? I could grab with my fingers and it's about it. This isn't doing anything. Is this, I wonder if this, this would be an interesting shadow puppet thing. What would this make? Instead, when I go to CrossFit, I'm gonna try this sucker here from Riptoned. If you can, that's upside down. Read that, there you go. So this thing's bracing my wrist, trying to keep it in place and also has this thing that pulls my thumb a little bit and just kind of locks it into place. So essentially it's doing a similar thing as the brace I was wearing, but I have a little bit more flexibility and I can fully grip. Comes highly recommended for CrossFit in general, especially to be able to lift more and have more stability for your wrist so you prevent injuries. So we're gonna see how this goes the next time I go in and I was going to make a video about doing the regular CrossFit class as opposed to doing the boot camp class um, that I was supposed to miss uh, this past Saturday, but our Saturday plans got canceled because it got rained out, uh, which is we were gonna go to a state park, do some hiking, but it's apparently monsoon season out in Minnesota. Who knew that Minnesota basically has a monsoon season? But we didn't go yesterday because to be honest, we needed a mental day because stuff is getting stressful, especially doing all, all the wedding planning and things that um, still need to be done. Oh yeah, did I tell you guys I'm getting married? I'm pretty sure I said that <laughs> several videos ago. Doing lots of wedding planning, it's kind of stressful and we've got a lot of other stuff coming up, especially in October. And it gives me a little bit of time off for the hand to heal a little bit before going back at it. So, what am I doing besides wearing this thing for my injury? Well, I, I'm not gonna pretend that I know everything about the body and how to fix things. Um, obviously, I don't know how to properly hold a golf club with your body, so there's that. But I was told not to do heat and to only do ice. So, doing some icing of the wrist, specifically it's this area here that is really feeling damaged and then kind of going up into the thumb. So I've got like a little ice pack that's flexible and kind of just wraps around the hand. So doing some of that, 
Also, I have a series of exercises and stretches and things like that that I'm going to do and are actually supposed to be really helpful for your wrists in general, which is great because I feel like both of my wrists are, are kind of weak and I'm feeling it a lot lately with the amount of push-ups that we have to do for CrossFit. And I'm gonna show you what some of the stretches and exercises are real quick. Um, let me just do the magic thing again. All right, so there we go. Couple different things. For one, these first three stretches I'm going to do are supposed to be really good to help prevent ever getting carpal tunnel. So if you are working at a keyboard, something like that all the time, this might be good for you. And so what I was told to do was do the little stretches like here. So bending those fingers back a little bit, just feeling that stretch in the back of my hand where it meets the wrist right here. Um, a little compression there and really stretching underneath. So doing that and holding that for 30 seconds and doing that four times. And then the reverse of that as well. So bending it down this way, pressing in just a little bit, holding for 30 seconds, doing that four times. The third stretch is the uh, what I liked to call when I was at my visit with the doctor, the namaste stretch. Um, so it's literally, you know, doing the little, the namaste thing and, and doing the same thing with the, why can't I balance this on the camera? Uh, doing the same thing with the others, which is holding this for 30 seconds. I don't think I'm going to do this in real time. All right, then we've got a few of the exercises and some of these are going to be pretty, like, straightforward, like, duh, no wonder. Um, so the first thing is putting your arm on a surface, let's say like a table or something, and the table ends here, and just letting the wrist go down, and then bring it up, and bring it down, and bring it up, and doing that for, I don't know, maybe like 20 to 30 reps, something like that, and doing that, um, I think about twice is, is what they said. Same thing again, but instead doing like this, and then making that motion that you really don't wanna do in public. So definitely do this one in the comfort of your own home when no one is watching, even if it's your pet, because you don't want judgment. Now you can add weight to those exercises, but when I say you can add weight, you don't wanna grab like a five to 10 pound dumbbell and do it. Um, literally, what I was told was to first use like a small can like a can of tomato paste, you know, those like uh, short and kind of really skinny ones. Start using that first, then work your way to soup can. <laughs> and, and, and I'm not joking, this is, uh, this is what I was told to do. And you could progress from like, let's say, Campbell's soup can to those bigger like Progresso soup cans and and so on and so forth um, before you start getting into something like maybe a light dumbbell of a couple pounds all right so there's that you can add a little bit more to it and that's definitely something i'm going to be doing because i'm, I'm kind of in that point where i i don't like this isn't quite doing a whole lot for me here's the last thing i'm going to show you guys and for this you need a hammer. So this is pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So you're going to take your hammer, right? And uh, you starting out are going to want the heavy end not too far from your hand. And you're going to want to just kind of go back and forth and just let it, let it hang a little bit like that. You know, feel that stretch in here. You know, just doing, just doing the thing, just doing it back and forth. You know, and as as you start recovering and, and start feeling a little bit stronger, you can move that down so that the fulcrum's a little bit there. See, for me right there, that's pretty painful, honestly. So, I think being about right here is about where I can where I can really do it right now. And any more than that at the moment is gonna cause too much pain. So even, even doing this, I'm really going to need to ice this uh, afterwards. So that just kind of shows a little bit of, uh, you know, how much that ligament's been a little um, affected by my horrible golfing skills. I'm sharing this information with you guys 
from an actual medical professional. I swear I'm not making this stuff up. Uh, so I hope that this is something that could be helpful, not only if you have an injury, but to prevent injury, to just strengthen your wrists. This is something that's going to be really helpful, really good for you, especially if you are someone that sits at a computer all day and you want to avoid getting carpal tunnel, um, anything that's, that's using your, your wrists and your hands in those repetitive motions all day long. Um, and, and even if they're, they're starting to get really stiff from whatever you do in your everyday work, this could really help. So I'm not only going to be doing it for my bad wrist, I'm also going to be doing it for my good one too. Uh, just because I want that strength, I want to be able to do more and to feel less pain or less strain when I'm holding myself up doing a push-up or, or lifting weights, doing like an overhead press or something like that. So there you go. There you have it. I hope that that stuff is helpful. Again, thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you haven't already, please go check out Sparta Chris Gaming here on YouTube. That is my Let's Play channel. You can also check out Nerd Sloth, which is my podcast network. We have videos on YouTube of the podcast, which is basically just audio with a fun picture. Um, there's also the backup live streams from Twitch. You can find those archived on YouTube. That is Joseph and Devin from the Twitch channel. And you can also find all the podcasts and things that I am on on nerdsloth.com on anywhere you get your podcasts. So final wisdom and thoughts from this video. Don't let an injury get you down, man. You just do what you have to do to heal, to take care of yourself, and get back in it, because that's exactly what I plan to do. This is not going to stop me from getting in better health. If I am limited in what I can do physically, then I can control what I am eating and what is going into my body as far as nutrition and attack it just as hard that way. Thank you one more time for checking out this video. Please comment, like, subscribe. If you feel so inclined, you can share this on social media if you found it helpful and keep fighting.